Hey guys, how's it going? I am back again with another grocery haul. This is a small week and this is about as real as it gets. I have just been home all day. Sean did the grocery shopping this week uh, for various reasons. We've got some extra littles with us. We've been having some van issues again, which I'm not super thrilled about, but we're working with the dealership. Uh, after I spoke to somebody this morning and said a few things, they decided that maybe they would work with us and try to get this figured out and fixed because it's a repeating problem and I'm not okay with them just zeroing out the codes again. So anyhow, that's not what this video is about. Let's get to it. Uh, small grocery haul, so this is a short video. So that's what it is. Like I said, it's small. I mean, you can tell by this that this is nothing compared to last week, which filled the entire table and it was packed. So let's run through. Uh, oatmeal, I did not realize that we were almost out. We won't make it until uh, the next big haul. I should have bought that last week, but I did not realize how low we were since that box will typically last us a little over a month. Um, I just don't always think about it, but like, so 52 packets, one packet a day for Micah. Sometimes others have some, but not always. So that's actually about a month and a half there. And you can see where that kind of fell. Anyhow, uh, we needed more snacks, especially with a couple extra littles here. Uh, we are out of those and the Cheez-Its. I had not planned to be out. I thought I'd make it till next week, but that is quite all right. Uh, Ritz crackers, uh, again, we're just going through a few more right now. Cereal, well, you know, this is kind of a repeating theme here where I just keep saying we've got a few more to feed right now, and so we're a few things have disappeared a little bit faster. Uh, so I'm gonna quit saying it, and you can just know that. Cereal, our weekly almond milk. Sean went ahead and grabbed some applesauce because I mentioned just snacks and stuff in general, and that's the same thing with these right here. We have discovered that the extra littles love fruit in fact the apples he just brought home one of those bags two days ago because between all five littles currently in the house we are going through at least three or four apples a day if not more so i doubt that bag is going to make it till next week we've got cream cheese i've got salsa verde those two if you remember may you may well you may remember uh, the salsa verde chicken that I make in the crock pot. I have some chicken to use up, which I will tell you about in a minute. Uh, eggs, chips. Oh, if, if you missed it, the eggs, we do have an egg allergy in the house. But the French toast that we make on Sundays, which reminds me, there's one thing missing. Again, I'll tell you about that in a moment. And Sean's tea. So that is it. There's one thing missing. I'm going to flip this camera around and tell you what happened. Okay, so what's missing from this is Taya's French toast sticks. We should have had enough to last us several more weeks. However, after I did my large grocery haul uh, exactly a week ago, <sighs> um, I'm trying to figure out how to put all this in words. Uh, it's a little frustrating. I'm keeping a smile on my face. I had tears in this matter. We had two deep freezes and a garage fridge on top of our refrigerator in the house one of the deep freezes, the larger one of the two that we housed all of the convenience foods in. So half of those freezer foods that I bought for the kids that you saw, which again, we can get, I've, I'm going to have to do a second trip this week, to be honest. Um, we lost most of it. Uh, Sean said that one of the kids had mentioned the day before that something seemed kind of soft coming out of there. And when I was coming home, the kids had called and said stuff was warm and I panicked. I got home right away. Sorry, I'm seeing myself on the screen and I'm a mess. But anyhow, wow, I'm rabbit trailing today. I, I got home. There was some stuff in the very bottom that was still cold enough. It was salvageable, but it had to be used immediately. Uh, I've got a couple of those items left that I'm cooking up tonight so that we don't lose them completely. But half of the stuff in there was trash. We do carry a policy through our insurance that covers um, failures like that. The problem with it is, uh, for one, you can use it once a year. It's up to $500 in replaced goods. There was just over $100 worth of stuff once I added it all together of what was actually lost. It was a lot of odds and ends and things 
um, some stuff that I wasn't going to be able to claim. So we decided it wasn't worth it. We'll just let that policy sit in case something should happen and we need it in the future. Because in the past, we have had to use that. If you don't know about that policy, ask your insurance agent. It is really worth having. Um, like I said, we've, we have decided this time around it's not worth uh, it's a lot of work to go through and figure up the value of everything that was lost and to document everything, possibly photograph everything if possible. And yeah, so this time around, it's not worth it. Uh, so he did not get her French toast sticks to replace those. I forgot to write all of the freezer foods on the list because it wasn't until I was doing this video that I remembered that was something else. And I leave at the end of this week to go across the state for the homeschool conference I will be working a table there, which means a few extra convenience foods could be nice for the kids. So I will go get those later this week. Uh, you're probably not gonna see that, but I'm telling you now, that's what it's gonna be. I gotta replace all the cheeseburgers, the pizzas, uh, the French toast sticks now. Um, there was something else. So I'll have to look into that. But it's a small week, so it, I guess it kind of balances out somehow and we're not stressing it. And we didn't need a lot of extra stuff because I cooked a lot of stuff I didn't plan to. And we've got a lot of leftovers, so that kind of works too. Anyhow, I hope you guys are having a blessed day. Don't forget to like this video, subscribe to my channel, and hit that notification bell. Let me know if you carry that rider on your insurance policy that covers uh, failures for your refrigerators and freezers and things. Let me know if you've never heard of it. And if this video taught you something and that you're gonna check into it now, I hope it's one or the other, honestly, it's worth it. So I'll see you guys in the next video.